Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Betelgeuse is keeping astronomers on their toes with its unpredictable behavior. This massive red supergiant has drawn significant interest in recent years due to its dramatic changes in brightness, leading some scientists to speculate that its explosive end could be just around the corner. Now, Betelgeuse, located in the constellation Orion, is once again making headlines. One theory suggests that Betelgeuse may be spinning much more rapidly than expected because it might have consumed another star in the past. Another possibility is that Betelgeuse is not a solitary star, it could be part of a binary system. However, the question arises, if Betelgeuse does have a companion star, why hasn't it been detected yet? Furthermore, understanding the nature of this potential companion could be key to unraveling significant mysteries about Betelgeuse's behavior and life cycle. The existence of a companion star could explain the unusual brightness fluctuations observed, as the gravitational interaction between the two stars might influence Betelgeuse's light output. Detecting this companion could provide critical insights into the dynamics of massive stars and the processes that lead to their eventual supernova explosions. Such discoveries would not only deepen our understanding of Betelgeuse, but also shed light on similar stellar phenomena throughout the universe. The Sun often stands as a symbol of cosmic greatness in our minds. This is not surprising, given that our planet could theoretically fit into our formidable star around 1.3 million times. Although the Sun, with its nearly 1.4 million kilometer diameter, is undeniably impressive, we must remember that there are far larger celestial objects in the universe that would reduce our central star to the size of a mere speck of dust. A closer look at astronomical facts reminds us that Betelgeuse eclipses the Sun in virtually every aspect. Situated about 650 light-years away in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse is a red supergiant with a diameter approximately 800 times that of the Sun. This remarkable difference in size is mirrored in its luminosity. Betelgeuse radiates an astonishing 10,000 times more visible light than our Sun, making it a true giant among stars. However, even in the study of space, there are exceptions to the norm, underscoring the complexity of stellar behavior. A significant mystery arose five years ago, when Betelgeuse unexpectedly experienced a dramatic drop in brightness over a matter of weeks. This sudden dimming was so pronounced that it became noticeable to observers with the naked eye in the night sky. Although Betelgeuse is known for its periodic brightness fluctuations, this event was strikingly different, occurring much more quickly and intensely than usual. Such an anomaly captured the attention of astronomers and sparked a wave of investigation, prompting questions about the underlying mechanisms at play. This dimming phenomenon may reveal more than just the star's unpredictable nature. It could also provide insights into the life cycle of massive stars. Betelgeuse's fluctuations could be linked to changes in its outer layers or even interactions with a potential companion star. By studying these events, astronomers hope to enhance their understanding of stellar evolution, particularly regarding the final stages of a star's life before it ends in a spectacular supernova explosion. As researchers continue to monitor Betelgeuse, they may unlock the secrets of not only this remarkable star, but also the broader processes that govern the life and death of stars in our universe. A quick note on the astronomical unit of magnitude. This critical measure is used to evaluate the apparent brightness of celestial objects as viewed from Earth. The scale operates on a somewhat counterintuitive principle. A smaller magnitude value signifies a brighter appearance. For instance, a star rated with a magnitude of 1 is much brighter than one rated at a magnitude of 5. This logarithmic scale means that each whole number increase in magnitude corresponds to a decrease in brightness by a factor of approximately 2.5. Therefore, the lower the magnitude number, the more luminous the star appears to us. In this context, Betelgeuse, a well-known red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, typically has an average luminosity between 0.3 and 0.4 magnitudes. This impressive brightness places it among the 6th to 7th brightest stars visible in the night sky, making it a prominent fixture for stargazers and astronomers alike. However, an unexpected event occurred in December 2019, when Betelgeuse experienced a significant dimming, dropping to a magnitude of 1.1289. This drastic change in brightness caused the star to fall from its former ranking, landing it at the 21st position in terms of brightness among stars. This sudden alteration in brightness raised alarm bells in the astronomical community, leading to speculation 
Is Beetlejuice on the verge of becoming a supernova? As a red supergiant that is approaching the end of its life cycle, the possibility of a supernova event loomed large in discussions. Supernovae are the explosive deaths of massive stars that occur when they exhaust their nuclear fuel, leading to catastrophic changes in their core. Given Betelgeuse's status as a red supergiant nearing the final stages of its stellar evolution, astronomers began to investigate whether this unexpected dimming could signal the imminent arrival of such a spectacular explosion. It's crucial to recognize that even during its dimming phase, Betelgeuse remains an extraordinarily bright star, shining approximately 10,000 times brighter than our sun. This immense luminosity allows Betelgeuse to dominate the night sky. Yet, in the event of a supernova, researchers anticipate that its brightness could surge dramatically, possibly increasing by a factor of 16,000 compared to its current luminosity. In that case, Betelgeuse's apparent brightness could reach values between negative 9.5 and negative 1.5 magnitudes. Some astronomers suggest it could shine as brightly as the full moon and be visible even during the day. However, there is still uncertainty regarding the timing of such a spectacular event. In fact, most experts have since shifted away from the belief that a supernova is imminent. What was initially interpreted as a precursor to a significant event has been identified as a major plasma eruption. Subsequent observations indicated that this eruption generated a large dust cloud, which obscured the star and made it appear nearly two-thirds dimmer to observers on Earth. As previously discussed, Betelgeuse is now in the late stages of its life cycle, a phase characterized by significant changes and phenomena. This red supergiant regularly loses substantial amounts of stellar material, a process driven by powerful convection currents from its interior. These currents transport material from the depths of the star to its surface, where it is expelled into space. This continual shedding of mass is not merely a passive occurrence, it plays a crucial role in the star's evolution and the dynamics of its surrounding environment. During this phase, Betelgeuse also undergoes cyclical expansions and contractions approximately every 400 days. These periodic fluctuations are a normal aspect of its life cycle, reflecting the complex interplay of forces within the star. Experts believe that it was the combination of vigorous convection currents and these expansion cycles that resulted in a recent plasma eruption that was significantly more intense than typical. Specifically, the eruption was two to three times stronger than usual, highlighting the dynamic and sometimes violent nature of a red supergiant's life as it nears its end. When we compare Betelgeuse to our own sun, the differences become starkly evident. During this mass loss event, Betelgeuse's rate of mass loss was approximately 30 million times greater than that of the sun. Such a dramatic loss underscores the unique characteristics of red supergiants, particularly in their final stages. As the ejected plasma cools in the vastness of space, it can condense into enormous dust clouds. In this instance, the resulting dust cloud happened to lie directly in the line of sight between Earth and Betelgeuse, creating a visual obstruction that appeared as a substantial veil, darkening the star's brightness from our perspective. Betelgeuse does not cease to surprise astronomers, it continues to present new puzzles to unravel. One intriguing aspect is its rotation. Recent observations made with the ALMA Observatory's array of coupled radio telescopes have revealed that Betelgeuse rotates at an extraordinarily high speed for a star of its type. The measured rotational speed exceeds 5 kilometers per second, which is strikingly 50 times faster than what would generally be anticipated for a red supergiant within its spectral class. In this context, Betelgeuse challenges our traditional understanding of how stars behave as they evolve. Typically, stars tend to experience a decrease in rotational speed as they expand and move toward the later stages of their life cycle. However, Jing Zma from the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics in Garching, Bavaria, emphasizes that Betelgeuse stands out as the only known red supergiant exhibiting such rapid rotation. This unusual speed is thought to be connected to the star's unique bipolar surface structure, where one hemisphere shows a blue shift and the opposite side displays a red shift each shifting by several kilometers per second. To explain this intriguing rotational behavior, astronomers have proposed several theories. One prominent hypothesis suggests that Betelgeuse may be a cosmic cannibal. This theory posits that when Betelgeuse expanded into a supergiant approximately 100,000 years ago, it potentially engulfed a companion star that was similar in size to our Sun. 
In this scenario, the absorption of material from the companion star would have resulted in a transfer of angular momentum to the outer layers of Betelgeuse, thereby accelerating its rotation speed. This hypothesis has been investigated through computer simulations, which have yielded promising results. Additionally, observational evidence supports this theory. For instance, images taken by the Herschel Space Telescope several years ago revealed two regions of expelled stellar material on one side of Betelgeuse. Initially interpreted as indicators of a forthcoming supernova explosion, these shell-like structures are located at a distance that aligns almost perfectly with what would be expected following an event of stellar cannibalism. This alignment provides further credence to the idea that Betelgeuse's extraordinary rotational speed may indeed be the result of its violent past and interactions with other stars. There are intriguing alternative explanations for Betelgeuse's unusual rotational behavior. Ma's research team highlights the star's surface dynamics, which are dominated by massive bubbles of plasma that rise and fall dramatically. These immense bubbles can cover a large portion of Betelgeuse's visible exterior, influencing how the star appears from Earth. This is a critical observation because the swift movement of these plasma bubbles could contribute to the observed red and blue shifts in Betelgeuse's radio emissions. In essence, the apparent rapid rotation of the star might not be a result of actual spin. Rather, it could be an optical illusion caused by the chaotic motion of these plasma structures. If a large convection bubble moves toward the observer while another moves away, the result can be the same visual effect one would expect from a rapidly rotating object. This phenomenon suggests that even a star with negligible rotation could appear to be spinning at an extremely high speed when viewed from a distance. Recent analyses involving data from the ALMA have lent credence to this hypothesis. Researchers have combined the observational data with astrophysical models to investigate Betelgeuse's behavior more thoroughly. According to Ma, there is a substantial 90% chance that the maps generated from these simulations could be misinterpreted as indicating that the star has high rotation rates. This potential misinterpretation largely arises from the low resolution of ALMA images, which may obscure the true nature of movements on the star's surface. Thus, we currently face uncertainty regarding the actual rotational speed of Betelgeuse and the validity of the hypothesis that it has consumed another star in the past. Nevertheless, one conclusion seems increasingly likely. Growing evidence points to the possibility that Betelgeuse may have a companion star. So, does Betelgeuse have a companion star? As previously noted, the brightness and surface of Betelgeuse fluctuate in a cycle of approximately 400 days. In fact, the red supergiant has yet to fully recover from the massive plasma eruption that occurred in 2019. The effects of this eruption continue to induce rapid oscillations within its interior, causing the surface to vibrate like an oversized jelly. Astronomers believe it may take several years for the star to return to its normal pulsation rhythm. In addition to the 400-day cycle, Betelgeuse also displays a secondary brightness fluctuation that takes place over a much longer period of 2,170 days, or nearly six years. However, the causes behind these extended periodic variations have remained a mystery for quite some time. To address this, Jared Goldberg and his team at the Flatiron Institute in New York recently undertook a comprehensive re-examination of all observational data related to Betelgeuse. Their new analysis uncovered several unexpected anomalies. The intriguing aspect of Betelgeuse's light fluctuations is that the six-year cycle in its light curve operates on a different rhythm compared to the more subtle 400-day pulsations. Specifically, these longer periodic changes are out of sync with the rhythmic pulsations. Moreover, the researchers found no additional phenomena that could be linked to factors like rotational patterns, magnetic field influences, or convection currents. This led the experts to a compelling conclusion. The most viable explanation for the long-term oscillations is the presence of a smaller companion star. In this intriguing scenario, the unusual six-year fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness are hypothesized to correlate directly with the orbit of a companion star. This companion star's position relative to Betelgeuse has a significant impact on the observed luminosity of the red supergiant. When the companion star is located behind Betelgeuse from our perspective on Earth, the light we receive from Betelgeuse dims to its lowest point. This dip in brightness occurs because the companion star is obscured, preventing its light from contributing to the overall luminosity that we observe. Conversely, when the companion star is positioned adjacent to Betelgeuse, the combined brightness of the two stars results in a peak luminosity. 
This interaction is fascinating because it highlights how celestial bodies in close proximity can significantly influence each other's apparent brightness. The phenomenon showcases the dynamic nature of stellar relationships and the complexities involved in understanding how such interactions manifest in observable properties. Moreover, the companion star could play an additional role as a natural dust shifter. This term suggests that the gravitational influence of the companion star could affect the distribution of surrounding dust clouds in the vicinity of Betelgeuse. As these dust clouds shift and rearrange themselves due to the gravitational pull of the companion star, they can obscure or enhance the light emitted by Betelgeuse at different times, contributing to the star's variability in brightness. Dust clouds can absorb and scatter light, leading to further fluctuations that may complicate our observations. While this theory appears plausible and offers a cohesive explanation for the observed fluctuations in brightness, it raises an important question. Why has the companion star not yet been detected? The likely answer lies in the companion's relatively low mass. Researchers estimate it to be only about 1.7 solar masses, in stark contrast to Betelgeuse's nearly 20 solar masses. Furthermore, the companion star is presumed to orbit very closely to its much larger counterpart, at a distance of approximately 2.43 Betelgeuse radius. This close proximity means that the companion star is substantially outshone by Betelgeuse, making it exceedingly difficult to detect. Additionally, the brightness fluctuations and pulsations of Betelgeuse complicate the task of identifying the faint traces of its companion in the light curve. Although the likelihood of detecting the companion star with current telescopes is quite low, researchers are eager to secure observation time at several major telescopes. Their goal is to gather more evidence regarding the existence of this stellar partner and to determine its specific characteristics. And that's it. Thanks for joining us in this exploration of Betelgeuse and its intriguing mysteries. From its dramatic brightness fluctuations to the possibility of a hidden companion star, there's so much more to discover in the cosmos. If you enjoyed this journey through the stars, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Spaceverse for more celestial insights. Until next time, keep looking up.